morning. Good morning, Australia. I know it's not morning by you. Um, let me just set it up. So my name is Tamara Aziz. I am talking to you on behalf of Project 10. Project 10 is a MASA program. We offer many different options. I will talk about the options in Israel. We have a five-month program that happens twice a year. So for people who are looking for a full gap year, they can come for one five-month program in one location and the other five-month program in the next one. But let me talk a little bit about what Project 10 is. Um, so Project 10 is a Jewish agency organization. It is our, it is the Jewish agency's volunteer um, program option. We volunteer all over the world. Um, we have three centers in Africa, in South Africa, Uganda, and Ghana. We have one center in Mexico, one center in Samos, Greece, where we volunteer with refugees and asylum seekers. And we are opening, we've been opening another center in Cambodia for a while, which of course has been stopped because of COVID. And we have two beautiful centers in Israel. We have one center in Kibbutz Harduf in the Galilee, and we have one center in Mitzpah Ramon in the Negev. Um, our programs in Israel, like I said, they're five months long. One starts in September, one starts in February. And our motto is to volunteer, travel, learn. Um, I'm, I'll go, I'll get into it a little bit, sorry, a little bit more, of course. Before I talk about the programs in Israel, just to have in mind, um, there's a few ways to participate in Project 10. If you wanna to come to one of our centers around the world, and we had quite a few Australian alumni in Uganda and in Ghana um, and in Mexico, and we loved having them. Um, so we have, the Around the World programs to join Israeli and Diaspora Jews for a three-month experience. This happens three times a year in the centers around the world. We have our programs in Israel, which I'll talk about. Join non-Israeli Jews aged 18 to 30 for a five-month life-changing cohort in Kibbutz Ardu for Mitzpah Ramon. We offer short delegations to communities. And if you can't come for the whole year, we also have a one-month program um, in Israel, where you spend two weeks in each center. Due to COVID, the one-month program hasn't been running the last two summers, but we hope that in 2022, things will change and that will also be a possibility. So I know you're going to hear about a lot of different programming, um, but this is why I think Project 10 is probably the best program for a lot of you. So our locations are exactly what you need. We don't we don't bring you to Israel and have you live in an apartment building in Ranana. You're going to live in a beautiful setting of either the kibbutz in the Galilee, where you're part of a community with an amazing view, or you're going to live in Mitzvah Ramon, which is a small desert town right in the middle of the artist district. So our center is surrounded by cafes, galleries, um, people who do ceramics, restaurants, you have all these um, like hippie concerts going on and you really do become part of a very cool and very unique area. Um, we also have Israelis participating in our programming, which is really fun for people who come from abroad. You get to meet Israelis who are your age, more or less. You get to meet your friends. You can go hang out with them on the, on the free weekends. Um, and it's not only being a chutznik in Israel, but you really do get to participate. Um, and live an Israeli experience when you're with us. We focus on things that are very relevant these days. We talk a lot about coexistence, our programming volunteers mostly um, with Arab um, students, also in the Galilee and in the Negev. We work with the Bedouin community. We talk a lot about coexistence, sustainable change. We have a lot of group time and we do focus a lot on the participants themselves. We are happy to help you become uh, social activists, independent, and uh, mature adults when you're finished with our program while also offering you a lot of free time um, and a chance to, to really explore who you are. And all this happens in a very nice and homey group setting. So like I said, our, our slogan is volunteer, travel, learn. We volunteer with children and youth. That's most of the work. We do it in schools or in afternoon programs or if it's on the kibbutz or the town in different circles that we have. 
We also volunteer with animals. Some people love that part. We well, volunteers with llamas in the south. We volunteers in the petting zoo in the north and agriculture. We learn a lot about agriculture in the desert and how to do um, sustainable farming in the Galilee. We work with Jews and with Arabs. Um, we believe that Israel has a lot of faces to it and we help people explore which angle, which element they are interested to hear about. We are led by hard work, deep thinking and Jewish values while volunteering. And we know it's not for everybody, but the people who come really tend to have an amazing time on our programs. Travel, like, all Masa, like most Masa programs, we travel as a group at least once a month, it's normally more, to different locations in Israel. And of course, every second weekend is a free weekend where you guys can either go see your family, go hang out in Tel Aviv, go to Relat, go visit the, Israeli, the Israelis in your group's family and friends. Um, and that is the travel element. And we have learning sessions in the afternoons. We are not an open. Some people tend to ask if we are an open. We're not an open, but we do learn Hebrew and Arabic. We talk a lot about Israeli politics, uh, history from, and the history of Israel from different views and elements, even if it's part of our tiulim, and also if it's just a debate that's happening in um, the, the classes. We debate Jewish activism. We talk a lot about um, the world through Jewish eyes. Should we be taking more responsibility? Is there such a thing as a Jewish activist and more? We focus a lot on group building and personal growth. And we're one of the cheapest programs out there in the Jewish world, and it doesn't compromise our quality. We charge 4,500 USD for the whole five month cohort. Um, we do this because we are looking to appeal to a large group of participants, and we do want to have more people who think they can't afford coming to Israel actually coming to Israel. And of course, together with the Massa grants that are available, we hope that um, our program is accessible to many, many people. Um, I don't have much more to add, but if anybody has any questions they would love to answer, of course, it would be the best if you guys will follow us on social media. We are on Instagram, on TikTok, on Facebook. Here's our website. And I'm now sending in the chat links to many things, our YouTube videos that are, that it's a great way for you to get to know um, what a day in the life looks like in these centers. Um, and an application form. So this is me, if anybody has any questions. Uh, I, I think this question is for me, are the dates set for each program? Yes, they are set, they are online. The program starts normally September, the first, pro, the first program of the year sort of starts September 1st. And the second one is um, starts sometime around February, mid-Feb. But we, we have the 2022 dates on our website and you're welcome to email me if you have any questions. I can say that there's also- the, like a big age range, what is the average age? The truth is that most people come on a gap year so most of them are coming after the age, like most of them are 18 to 22, but we do have some people who, every cohort, we have a few people who are a bit older and mostly we don't go over 26 or 27. Um, but yeah, that's part of also the diversity of the group we have. We try to have participants from all over the Jewish world. We have some non-Jewish participants, every cohort, we have some Israelis, but mostly it's 18 to 22. Okay, um, thank you very much. And I wish you all a good luck and we really miss you guys in Israel and we hope the borders open soon and you can all come and enjoy the Masa programs. Thank you, bye-bye. Does, does anyone have any other questions for Tamar? So in another couple of minutes, does anyone have any other questions in regards to Project 10 um, or anything else that I'd like to know? So I recommend to just copy paste the message I sent for a later time when you're done with all your 
with all your presentations and my email is on the bottom. And like I said, I'm, we're also on Instagram. You can always also ask us anything you want there. Yes, Hardoof, I don't know if it's called Steiner, but it's this, um, I don't remember the name in English, but yes, it is still this um, special kind of schooling system. Not just the school, the whole kibbutz believes, believes in, in it. How do you fit 10 months if it starts in February? What do you do for the month in between if you wanna do a 10 month program? The month in between is normally considered a free month. You can travel, you can do whatever you want, but if you need, you can also stay on one of the campuses um, in order for you to fill the first, the whole 10 months um, if you want a place to stay. But we have quite a few people who do the first five months in Mitzperamon, then they go and they do the next five months in um, Kibbutz Harduf. And in between, they either travel or they stick around um, in one of the centers. We make it work. It's a very family style experience. So we help you do that. Also, the Israelis do the whole 10 months. So in Kibbutz Harduf, in both of them, we have a maximum of 15 people per, co per cohort. So again, we're not talking to the masses here. We're really talking for people who are looking for something a bit different, a bit more remote, a bit more of a village country style feel, um, because there isn't a lot of place in each cohort. So there's, like I said, about 15 slots. And they're filling up fast because people are planning their gap years ahead of time in order to get all the masa and all the tickets and everything sorted, all the visas. So I suggest to sign up, even if you're not sure, you will hear, you will have, somebody will call you back with more information and you will be able to choose if you wanna continue with the application um, after just signing up. So the application is in the message that I sent. There are, there are still just a couple more questions um, in the Q&A tomorrow. So the first one is, oh. when is the one-month program? So if you just want to have a look there as well. Sure. Sorry, the one-month program is always between July and August. It normally starts, I think this one is going to be from July 12th to August 12th. But the, the one-month program is like in the middle of those months in the summer. And a day looks like, in general, the days look like this in all, in all the centers also around the world, we consider, we say that we wake up, we have breakfast, we volunteer, we eat lunch, we volunteer, we eat dinner, and we study. Um, so more or less, there's a lot of volunteering during the morning. In the afternoon, sometimes there's more group activities, sometimes there's free time. And in the evenings, we have our study sessions. Um, once you, like I said, once you just sign up, you can get a call with either an alumni or somebody who has a lot of info. They'll set up a call just to give you the details um, and see if you're interested to continue the application. So they'll know better what the day-to-day -day life looks like. Okay, I think I answered everything. Um, thank you again and good luck. And I think we're done. Yeah, I think we've only got about just under a minute left. So if anyone has any last questions, ask them now. Um, otherwise, thank you so much, Tamar, for your time. We really appreciate it. Um, and Project 10 is obviously an incredible program and a great opportunity for everybody. Um, so be in touch with Tamar if, if it does interest you. Um, and Tamar, thank you so much for, um, for presenting to us today. No problem. Good luck.